frequency splitting with Maximus is overkill in most situations and isn't worth the amount of CPU, but if you need absolute control over your frequency bands, there is no better choice. Like always, set up seven mixer inserts. Label them in, sub, low, mid, high, treble, and out. Then load Maximus into each frequency band insert. Frequency band presets for Maximus are available for download in this video's description, along with mixer insert state files that do the same thing. If you do not download the files, I'm going to show you how to do it manually. In the sub frequency band insert, load the default preset within Maximus. First, we need to initialize Maximus so it doesn't affect any incoming audio before frequency splitting. The initialized preset for Maximus is also available for free download in this video's description below. So turn compression off on all bands, including the master band within Maximus. Then slide 0.33 of each band in Maximus up to the top right corner of the graph, or 12 dBs. Save this preset as INIT, then load the preset that we just made into each frequency band's Maximus. Go back to the sub frequency band insert and solo the low band within Maximus. Adjust the low band frequency knob by ear. When finished, paste this value into the low frequency band inserts, low frequency band knob within Maximus. In the low frequency band mixer insert, solo the mid band within Maximus and adjust the high frequency knob in Maximus by ear. When finished, copy this value to the low frequency knob within the mid mixer insert. Next, head over to the treble mixer insert, be sure to solo it, solo the high band within Maximus, and adjust the high frequency knob by ear. When finished, copy this value to the high mixer inserts Maximus high frequency band knob. Solo the high band mixer insert, then within Maximus, solo the mid band and adjust the low frequency knob by ear. Copy this value to the Maximus in the mid frequency bands mixer insert. If you did everything correctly, you should have successfully split your audio into five separate frequency bands. If you had trouble with this, simply download the preset files available in this video's description, so it's already done for you. Unmute all of the frequency band mixer inserts and make any adjustments here. You should now know how to properly frequency split using Maximus in FL Studios. Be sure to check this description for all available free downloads related to frequency splitting with Maximus, and be sure to check the related videos section now.